Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today's video is on this cloudy makeup inspired by Florisys. Florisys is the Chinese brand known for their beautiful engraved makeup and I'm super excited to be partnering with them today to share the launch of their international website. If you want to see how I did this look, just keep watching. First I'm using the floral eyebrow pencil. This is the perfect brow shade if you have natural black hair. Let's clean that up before moving on to eyeliner. For today's liner, I'm using the Peony Exquisitely Carved Flower Pattern Eyeshadow in number 1 Gold Brown. I actually gasped when I saw this palette for the first time, it's so pretty. But while we're already admiring this palette, let's look at this limited collection gift box they launched for their 4th anniversary. This is the most excited I've been about discovering a new brand in a while. Everything's just so perfect. Remember to line your waterline. Moving on to the face, I'm first going to prime. I'm using the Longwear Floral Nourishing Foundation in shade N20. Don't worry, it does oxidize a little bit. I love the consistency of this foundation. It's a self-setting formula that gives a skin blurring matte effect without looking cakey. I haven't tried anything like it, so I'm really hoping they expand their shade range as they begin shipping to other countries. Let's do some spot concealing. The foundation has pretty good coverage though, so we don't really need much. I'm next setting my face with the new gorgeous Peach Blossom Loose Powder in number 3 Mist. It's a light, very finely milled translucent powder. And I love the packaging on this one, not just for aesthetics, but for practicality too. Most brands have a detached cap for their loose powders that make a mess if you try to take them anywhere, but this has an attached screw cap design with a small mirror, so you can actually take it with you on the go. Going back to the eyes, I'm extending the eyeliner and blending it downwards. I'm next using a white liner to draw on the clouds. Another method I tried was to use a reference to draw the shape of the cloud and use makeup remover to add the swirls in after. It's a lot easier and more beginner friendly than doing it freehand, so if you're having issues with the clouds, this method is a good alternative. To add dimension and color, I'm using the Florisys Peony Rose Cream Blush in shade number 2. I'm shading in the clouds at the bottom and then actually applying the blush to my cheeks and nose. I think it kind of looks like a sunrise. Now 
Next, let's contour. For highlighter, I'm using the Peach Blossom Carved Flower Pattern Highlighter in shade at number one, Dancing Beauty. I decided to apply a wash of the peach blush to my eyelids too. Next, I'm dipping into the Florist's Heaven Gaia palette. This specific palette is actually what inspired this look. There are very intricate clouds and waves in both the external packaging and the product itself. I'm going to use a dark brown eyeshadow to create wavy lines in the liner. I'm next adding the shimmery pink shade to the center of my eyelids and lower lash line. I'm going to apply mascara and eyeliner to deepen the eyes. Since the eye makeup today was more minimal, I decided to go with wispy long lashes. Going back to the Peony Exquisitely Carved Flower Pattern Eyeshadow Palette, I'm using the red shade to contour the blush. Blush has a sort of filling effect, so this step is key if you don't want your face to look too flat. Moving on to the lips, I'm first lining them with a lip liner close to my natural lip shade. Next, I'm contouring my lips with a red lip liner. For lipstick, I'm using the Floral Dewy in Porcelain Lipsticks. The case is made of white porcelain, and the carvings on the lipstick actually depict porcelain making in ancient times. I'm first using shade M303 and then customizing the color by adding shade M136 for a subtle red tint and a little bit of concealer. The lipsticks are a very comfortable, soft matte texture. Next, I wanted to try Plum Blossom makeup since Florisis is named after the goddess of flowers, Hua Tzitzi, and each product contains flower extracts or Chinese herbal ingredients. I used the lipstick to draw and set it with a red eyeshadow. The story behind Plum Blossom makeup is a princess fell asleep under a plum tree and a blossom landed on her forehead, which left a beautiful mark from the petal stains, and then other court ladies imitated it with makeup or petals. This was my first attempt, so it turned out kind of messy, but I still thought it was really pretty. I'm gonna set everything, and this is the completed look! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and thank you again to Florisist for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to check them out, I'll link everything in the description box so you can find their new website and Instagram. And if you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!